Hi, this is Lyndon at Stanley Subaru, and today we're going to be doing a review on the 2022 WRX. Alright, so just to get started here, we'll look over the exterior of the car. This one comes standard with the 18-inch uh, alloy wheels and a machine finish. And then if you want, we can take a look under the hood. So underneath we have the 2.4 liter turbo, which is a four cylinder boxer engine producing about 271 horsepower. The new WRX features LED headlights and also fog lights, as well as an updated hood scoop, different from the previous generation. And if you come over this way, they've integrated these little slots for better aerodynamic efficiency when driving. So this car features blind spot detection. So when you're on the highway, a little light will show up in the inboard side of the mirror, letting you know that somebody is in your neighboring lane. And also, if you come to the back of the car, you'll see a little sensor that actually tracks that vehicle coming into your blind spot. And then also when you're backing up, it also is equipped with rear cross traffic alert and rear automatic braking. Rear cross traffic alert means that if somebody's coming from either direction, the car will let you know before you continue. And then rear automatic braking is when you're backing up and you get too close to something, the car is gonna stop by itself. So this WRX comes with a dual exhaust system, which you have probably seen on the previous generation models too. This new redesign of the 2022 WRX actually offers a lot more trunk space for all your daily needs. So new on the WRX 2022, they offer the 11.6 inch center information display and if you've seen in recent videos on how to pair your phone via Bluetooth, you can watch those videos on how to do it. This Rex has the automatic transmission. All other WRXs in the trim levels that you can choose from now offer an automatic transmission. The previous generation base model, you could only have a manual transmission. Now they offer an automatic transmission. So the center information display has a lot of neat features that you can look at. First off, we'll start with map. This one has navigation by TomTom. Tom. We go up to radio. This gives you FM, AM, and Sirius XM radio functions to choose from. You can also set yourself presets at the bottom, so that way you'll have your favorite radio uh, station to listen to. Over here is media. This is where you could plug in your device via USB. Also gives you the chance to listen to music through your iPod or iPhone or just through Bluetooth. Here in the middle, we'll have apps to choose from. Of course, these three you see are not illuminated. The Apple CarPlay would be used plugging in your iPhone. Android Auto would be used plugging in your Android. And then we also have Sirius XM down here. It's what they call Sirius XM Travel Link. Shows you the nearest gas station. You can change sports teams, whatever may be your favorite, stocks, things of that nature. And then we go over to, we'll go back to apps to show my Subaru which it looks like where we're inside, we're probably not gonna get good reception. Car info, driving statistics. So this is a menu that you can have up while you're driving just to kind of see how the all-wheel drive system's working, uh, level of degree if you're going up or down. And then we have a few other settings in here that you can choose from, clock, the display, and all the way down. So this is gonna be kind of your main area of making any changes to any settings you wish um, just for your personal preference. So looking at the steering wheel here we have paddle shifters that are located on the back. The right side is used to upshift, the left side is used to downshift and that gives you the thrill of driving a manual transmission without the clutch. The WRX is a very fun enthusiastic vehicle to drive. I drive one myself personally. If you ever have any questions on the WRX 2022 drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.